But as you probably know, October kicks off Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And when you think of the awareness campaign, that pink ribbon might pop into your mind. My next guest right here was diagnosed with breast cancer, beat it, and now wants women to think no pink. MJ Jenkins is here. This is very interesting. Thank you for coming in and being brave enough to share your story. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I, I'm so grateful to be alive and to be here with you today. And we're so glad to have you here as well. But I think this is very interesting. When we think of breast cancer awareness, we do think of that pink ribbon and we wear the pink shirts and we buy the pink coffee cups and all that sort of stuff. Why should we think no pink? Well, pink is cancer. Pink is related to cancer. We always see the pink ribbon. And I say pink is the enemy. When you have breast cancer, the more that you can put pink out of your mind, like I did, I put pink completely out of my mind during breast cancer, almost in denial that I had it. And it helped me to have good thoughts, good feelings. And it'll either help you survive, like me, or it'll kill you. Right, right. So it's no pink. Okay, it's a very interesting theory in all this. Tell us your story briefly, if you can. Well, in 2012, I went in for a typical mammogram. It uh, wasn't so typical after all. Mm. I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma. And I got Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon to help me cure myself from cancer, along with my medical team. And just in the past short two years, I can say today, I'm happy to say, cancer-free. Cancer-free. And we're so glad to report that. And more and more women, luckily, are able to report that they are cancer-free yeah. due to early detection. So thank you for being one thank of those you. that's getting in there and getting your mammograms. That's one of the important things to talk about this month. Let's talk about the mistakes that you made along the way. Now that you're able to look back and reflect, were there mistakes you made? Yes. You know, writing my book, uh, Think No Pink, during my breast cancer treatments, I was able to make a record of the mistakes that I've made, the things that went right, and help translate into Think No Pink, and narrow it down to just, if I just talked about three mistakes, the first would be eating cancer-causing foods. Like what? Like microwave popcorn, potato chips, um, alcohol, like beer, wine, all those 15 margaritas. You can switch to other non-sugar non, uh, drinks, because sugar feeds cancer. And the second mistake to avoid is letting your midsection bulk up. It's been proven that women with waist, fat around their waist, have more of a, of a proponed a development of, of breast cancer than women who lead fit, healthy lives. Okay, the so third, and the third mistake would be uh, early and often breast screenings. Don't put those breast screenings off. The earlier the better. If I had not detected my cancer as early as I did, I wouldn't be here in this fabulous, amazing studio. I wouldn't be here with this gorgeous woman today. I would be dead today. Mm. That's the difference in that detecting it early. Difference. That is the difference. Those are just the mistakes, the things you learned along the way, and I think we can all learn something from each of those mistakes that you said you made. Talk about the BFF formula. What is the B best friend formula that helped you survive this? You know, in my work as a breast cancer coach, I have been there, done that, and went through all the ins and outs, made all the mistakes for women, and I, I would have loved to have a BFF in my life. So it came up with my idea of coming up with a BFF best friend formula. The B stands for believe. You need to believe you will survive and the F stands for feed you need to feed your body with good organic foods and feed your soul great thoughts I even brought Coco she's one of my favorite Coco, people Coco. in my Coco. life along with my two boys TJ oh. and Weston Coco Hi, Coco. was there every step of the way she has been my angel through breast cancer and I, I believe that every woman in my in my coaching my clients should have a pet to keep themselves company during the long healing process and I think most importantly is you can read up you, you can curl up yeah. with Coco you she's can four pounds you, you can lift her after surgery since you have a 10 pound limit of what you can lift after surgeries and so she's only four pounds perfect size for a best friend to hang out with you in healing and oh. the final BFF the F in my BFF formula is freedom you know I believe women who have breast cancer have a new lease on life, the ability to heal themselves, the ability to recreate, redesign their life the way they want it. So that's why I came up with counseling, counseling women and being a coach, a breast cancer coach. I can save them some of the mistakes I made, like a quarter of a million dollars I wasted. That's just some money, let alone the time, the pain, the suffering. Wow, you, you are a wealth of knowledge, and you've put it all in a book as well, and I know that uh, we had a chance to show that earlier. You have a website, too, in case people want to find out more about you and get a hold of that book. Think No Pink is the title of your book, also thinknopink.com. I wish we had more time with you this morning. Will you come back, though, as October continues on? And I'd love it. I have a great talk about foods that you should avoid to not get cancer. We're bringing you back just for that. Think no pink. Think no pink. There you go. All right. MJ Jenkins, <laughs> thinknopink.com again is the website. And thanks, Coco, you too, for taking care of Mama. Good, good girl. Or boy.
Girl, girl or boy? Girl. Girl, okay. <laughs> big no pink. Big no pink. There you go. <laughs> Up next, treating breast cancer. In just five days, we're talking to one of the country's most renowned breast cancer researchers on the options now available for patients diagnosed in the early stages of the disease. You found your dream home, but before you buy, beware the hidden costs and why homeowners should not look too far into the future when it comes to buying a house.